So normally this would be the start of winter, but I screwed up. We go on here, and these characters are out here since I agreed to take care of the cows. The problem is that Ant's photo is in winter, and since I already have her at 200 infection, she shows up at 6 in the morning instead of 6 in the evening like all the other NPCs. And the problem with that is if I talk to her, the day will end and I'll mess up the cow raising minigame since uh, I missed a day. But if I leave the screen for whatever reason, she'll vanish and I'll miss out on that photo. So I have a backup save and what I'm going to do is that I'm going to take care of the cows and then go back and uh, start over from... Wow, second one. Well, start over from the first winter without agreeing to watch the cows. So that way I won't miss anything. All the cows are still immature so you won't get any extra milk out of any of them. But you just need a talk brush and feed them like you would any other cows. Mana will show up in the bar at night. I'm pretty sure she was meant to be a normal villager since she shows up as one in later games, but for whatever reason she only shows up for this one event. While working on your farm sometimes Mana's son will be there as well. On winter 5th, they leave and you don't really ever see them again and they take the cows with them. And Doug pays you about around 1500 for the looks of it. So we can start proper now. So now it's winter first. Unfortunately I had to redo the horse race and we didn't get as lucky. So it'll be a minute before I get the horse toy again. And of course it just so happens that this first winter is snowing. So we're going to have to wait until tomorrow to get the ants photo. Since the ground is frozen over in winter we can't dig in the fields. Which means no more music boxes for the rest of winter. So it's just gifts and events like normal until we can't access that again. You know, I honestly wasn't expecting to see Capital G God in this game at any point. So the back mountain in the winter doesn't have anything growing. That also includes medicinal herbs, so we need to be extra careful with fatigue since I have no easy way to restore it unless I buy medicine. So appropriately, winter is the easiest center to get. Winter is the easiest season to get sick in. We do want to take the advantage of the extra time we have to cut as much lumber as we can, since. By the end of the year, the amount of lumber we're going to be able to get every single day is going to decrease. Winter second. My god, a chinchilla. Now 
Oh, it's a Pikachu. And for some reason, that ends the day, which brings us to the third winner. And since I didn't get a chance to feed on my animals, they're all going to be either angry or sick. Okay, after several letters, we do get the one we're looking for, which is the photo for Anne's event. It's actually getting, starting to get pretty filled out now. So, just gotta keep on going. Trouble, trouble, till trouble troubles you. Since we don't need to worry about the money for the horse race anymore, although I guess we do need it for the dog race later on, but I do want to ask you about buying a sheep. They're not as good as cows, but I want to have at least one just for variety. And that might be the last music box that I gave of the game. We'll see. But since it's winter, we finally have our last crop available to us. Strawberries. They're only available in winter. And they can only be grown in the greenhouse. Which is weird because they can be grown any season as long as they're planted in the greenhouse. I don't know, I'm gonna stock up a good amount of them since it's a gift that's a bit hard to get. But in the meantime. We're gonna go ahead and name the sheep's Vi. And like cows, they start off immature and unable to get a product from them. They won't give wool every day. I can't remember the amount of time off the top of my head, but it's something like every 7 to 10 days, I want to say. Winter 4th. Thanks for the update, Kent. I believe that event is caused by having both Kai and Karen's affection high enough. Fifth of winter. I completely forgot about this. Since the lake over here is frozen, we can finally access that boulder over there. And with a fully charged hammer, you'll get a power nut from it. Since we bought our sheep, we can now buy the wool clippers, which are basically the milker but for sheep. Okay, it looks like Papiri is now over 200 affection. Which means we've got all the bachelorettes ready for their photos. And the only one I have left to get is Papiri's next spring. 7th of winter.
So we get something like plus 10 happiness points from this. So that's more or less the last reward you get from the uh, restoring the vineyard mini quest. Eighth winner. I don't think it actually does anything on your farm. Maybe break a few fences if you have those up. Oh! It did do something. Dang. We're gonna have to replant some of these. Well, at least it didn't destroy the greenhouse itself. So I avoided watering any crops right now because I want as much stamina for this as I can get. You just till the ground and either nothing will happen, you'll get an item, that's just that coin, which just goes straight into your money, it gives you like 10g. Or you'll find a hole that goes down to the next floor where you'll find better stuff. Most of the stuff is pretty cheap, but you can get a good amount of it, and there are, most of these items are stuff you can't get anywhere else. And there's certain events associated with some of them that you need them for. Mostly it's just a lot of luck. That's pretty bad luck. I didn't even get a single hole to continue down. I'm gonna be coming back pretty much every single day until I manage to get the stuff I actually need. If you don't have a greenhouse, this is your main money maker in the winter besides uh, raising animals. Ninth of winter. There's your heads up for the next, uh, oh. So we can at least get a few strawberry recipes now. First is strawberry jam from Papiri. Next one is from Stew. A strawberry dog? I'm not sure what that is. Is it a type of ice cream? And the third is from Karen. The strawberry champagne. I think that might be all the recipes. I'll have to double check once we can actually access them. No real luck for mining today either. Hopefully we will get some more spoil stuff soon enough.
Wasn't expecting this to happen already. Well, that event is another happiness boost. It's caused by having a high enough affection. I think it would have been with Stu since I just gave him the strawberry. Tenth of winter. And So on Thanksgiving, the bachelorettes, if they have high enough affection, will come to your farm and give you gifts. It's so weird how they call it cake when they use the sprite they use for pie. But for this holiday, since I need to be here, I'm going to take this opportunity to start clearing this field out a little bit. See yo. Probably. Alright, and Karen makes five. And from the looks of it, we got the field all cleared out. So that brings us to the 11th of winter. It's the same deal as building the bridge. Should show up there before 3 p.m. and we'll be able to do it. This is the more important one of the two, though. Sometimes some of the villagers will also show up in the mines. There. Finally found a hole. Hopefully, I can find something decent here before I get kicked out. In like 20 seconds. Nope. Just, I'm having no luck with RNG in this game. 12th the winner. Same deal as before, show up before 3 o'clock and the head carpenter will be waiting at the first screen. And this is why I said that we didn't get a limited amount of lumber later on. Because the three stumps at the top here are removed for the rest of the game. But I should have gathered enough lumber by now that that's not going to be an issue.
since you're stuck here till 3, that only leaves about 2 in-game hours until 5 o'clock. So I'm not bothering with going to the mines during these days. 14th winner. The most important thing to show up is the last day, but you get extra bonuses for showing up the other days. Those bits happen, uh, and it was basically the game telling you to get to move on with marrying somebody. There, finally. You have a 1 out of 33, I believe, chance of fishing a power nut out of the ocean. I have been trying to get that one since the beginning of the game. And it's one of the reasons why I'm complaining about RNG not being nice to me. 15th of winter. Oh. So I said that wine we got was sort of the last reward we got for restoring the vineyard. He's the, the gourmet starts showing up after that event as well. You can raise his affection by giving him food. And it counts towards your global affection rating. But I wouldn't really call it that much of a reward. Just keep hammering away. Why are their hammers so tiny? Or is mine just enormous? <laughs> 